your film requires it, then you can add some simple special effects to your edit. This will make your film more interesting and make what is seen on the screen more realistic. The first example we're going to show is that of adding a muzzle flash to a gunshot. During this scene, the sound is there, but the visual aid, i.e. the muzzle flash, is missing. In low-budget films, it's much easier to use fake weapons and then add the special effects afterwards than to use blank firing weapons. And a word of caution here. If you do use loud blank firing weapons, a trip to the police station is usually what follows. When the scene has been edited, it's then time to add the special effects. When you add your flash to the edit, it will most likely come on a coloured background and need rendering. When you place the clip in the frame, open the side menu and look for the folder that says Composite. The composite mode you choose depends on the colour of the background you're using, so research a bit on the internet to find out what the right mode of composite is to use for your specific background colour. In this case, the background colour is black. For this, we select Composite and Screen. Now simply change the size, the colour and the direction of your muzzle flash and place it at the end of the weapon. Once you've correctly matched up the sound, you will have created a very realistic looking muzzle flash. Getting to know visual effects artists is another good way of learning about special effects. The possibilities are endless. But please be aware that in low budget films, if special effects are used incorrectly, then they can undermine the whole integrity of the film. So before you start shooting, it's worth experimenting, playing out with different special effects. And then when you come to use them, you can be guaranteed of achieving the perfect result.